What's good, everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. We're here to do your tarot rehab readings, okay? So if you haven't chosen your deck, make sure you do that. And the timestamps for these readings are going to be down below in the description box, all right? Deck one, deck two. Um, also, guys, remember not every detail of these readings are going to resonate. But if they do, um, you can check out my Patreon page. Uh, you can also follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I'll put all that information in the description box down below. I don't know if I said this, but also don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. All right, guys, if you haven't done that. All right, guys, so choose your deck, deck one, deck two, and we will see you guys at your readings. All right, group number one. If you chose the Lightseer's Tarot, this is your Tarot Rehab. All right, guys, so let's just get into this. So the first card I pulled was uh, the general message. This is the message that Spirit has for you, something that you need to know at this time. The Eight of Earth talks about learning all you can about a subject or a career, maybe going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Pay attention to detail and skilled work that you love. So Spirit's saying to stay focused on that. Why? because we have our triggers down here and we're going to break this down so the main trigger what is triggering you at um in this week ahead now we have the ace of cups the ace of cups talks about a new proposal like um a new beginning is something that you love remember skilled work that you love so this is the trigger you're you're going after something that you you're really good at you're skilled at you love it and why is this triggering you, huh? We have the Fool and the Five of Pentacles as how is this connected to your past? It's triggering you because in the past, anytime you try to make a, um, the Fool talks about taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, right? Trusting in, kind of trusting in the divine that if you take a leap, um, that, you know, the, the universe is going to catch you. But it's triggering you. This is connected to your past because anytime you took a chance on something, you were always uh, let down. It was um, yeah. It was. It didn't always go in your favor, and it could have been because you didn't have the support. Because the Five of Pentacles also talks about not having. Uh, support being out in the cold so anytime you try to take a chance on something it always left you in this state of of depression of sadness of like it just didn't your plans fell through it could have been because you didn't have the support we're gonna clarify these okay all right so how will you react when this triggers you <laughs> I the knight of Pentacles and the seven Pentacles. it's like you're just walking away you're just like I got things I have to do I have work that I am trying to grow I'm just leaving and you're you're you know it might trigger you but you're just like okay well I'm just walking away and I'm gonna focus on what it is that I'm trying to grow what is your advice spirit says with the four of Pentacles in reverse um, this talks about um, uh, this poverty mindset and um, like, oh, I, it's not, not going to grow. I'm going to be abandoned. Everybody's going to ridicule me. This, this, every time I try to take a chance on something, that's what happened. Anytime it was something that I loved, they ridiculed me. They, they mocked me. They, they didn't support me. So you're saying, okay, well, you know, I've, I've been used to this in the past. I'm just going to focus on me and continue to grow what I'm growing. So here with your advice, it's saying this, this four of pentacles, the four of pentacles usually talks about holding on to something. It's in reverse. So it's like walk away from <clears throat> this poverty mindset, this vulnerability that you're feeling, feeling vulnerable. It's saying walk away from that. That's your advice. Walk away walk away that's how you're gonna react you're just gonna walk away okay what's the final message we have the Emperor the moon in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse or the King of Cups excuse me the King of Cups in reverse mm, spirit saying you're the you're the boss the secret the secrets or maybe a boss because the Emperor talks about a boss mm. okay so it's saying 
that this boss is going to get illumination because the moon in reverse talks about clarity coming in, secrets illuminated, about somebody who comes off very loving and caring. The king of cups in reverse is somebody who's very manipulative, emotionally abusive. They, 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 they emotionally abuse people and that's a secret that was hidden. But this person, this boss, this emperor is going to get clarity on this manipulative person. Okay. All right, guys. So let's break this down. So let's um, start with this Ace of Cups. Remember, Spirit's saying, learn all you can about a subject or a career, maybe needing to go back to school, taking a seminar, finding a mentor that can help you um, grow this, okay? Um, pay attention to the details, skilled work that you love. So focus on what it is that you love. You know, this is what, what you're doing. You're working on towards something, a new beginning that you love with the Ace of Cups. And you know, it, it does trigger you from the past because you didn't have that support. Anytime you did try to go after something that you found a lot of uh, joy and fulfillment in, people abandoned you. Anytime you wanted to take a chance, people mocked you, people ridiculed you, they left you out in the cold. There was no support. So you're just going to walk away, right? So let's look into the Ace of Cups. What is this that you're doing? Um, since it's work, um, since it's work, I'm gonna. I, I believe it's work. I don't. I'm not getting love. We got the world and the six of cups. Okay. So the world talks about teaching jobs. So you could be a teacher. Maybe that's what you you're learning. It's a new school. Uh, school. <laughs> okay. Well, I said that. So it's a new skill that you're trying to develop. You may need to go back to school because the, the world talks about careers in, in teaching, okay? Um, it could also be careers in government, but I'm getting more teaching. And let's see, the Six of Cups talks about um, working with children, working from home. So yeah, this is something that you could be teaching from home. And this is something that, that you, you find a lot of joy in, you, you find a lot of fulfillment in, right? All right. So let's look at this fool and this ace of pentacles. Let's look at the fool first. This is, okay. So it could have been a father figure <clears throat> that made you feel like any time, they, they could have made you feel like um, whatever you want and wanted to move towards was an, um, a good idea. We got the six of pentacles in reverse. This is one-sided. So this person was, it could have been a father figure. It was, you know, this is one-sided um, uh, relationships. Like you could have uh, given to them and they never gave to you. So that's what that could have been, could be. So anytime you try to take a chance, you're, yeah, the emperor flew out. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. They would, they would, tell them no you can't do that and this is some you know the the queen of cups is very nurturing very loving you know i want to take a chance on something and this emperor is like no no um you have to walk away from that you have to end that you can't go towards that this this emperor would always and i don't i see these two as different energies but that's what could be triggering you know from the past you could be dealing with an emperor and it's it's kind of this um um it could it could come off as um problems with authority because you did have problems with authority this person would always try to get make you walk away from your dreams kill your dreams okay so you don't you don't um you don't take too kindly to people who abuse that kind of power and and try to strong arm someone who's trying to do something that calls to their soul to their heart right okay so let's look at let's look at the five of pentacles let's look at the five of pentacles let's look at the five of pentacles i'm taking this as you know being okay so this this child as if 
remember this is how it's connected to past how these triggers are connected to the past anytime as a child anytime you wanted to have victory something that you felt like would bring you a lot of fulfillment you were you were made to walk away leaving you in this state of abandonment um sadness because something that would have brought you victory something that would have brought you a lot of joy as a child was you were made to walk away from that these people um this person whoever did this to you was very deceptive they were very deceptive they they probably knew that you would have victory in it and they they tried to stop you parents do that parents will do that to their children where they don't want their children to do better than them and so they will sabotage their own children so you that's what could be triggering you is that somebody's trying to sabotage something that you've been working on so how are you going to react it you're just going to walk away you're going to you're going to continue to grow what can you tell us about the knight of pentacles what can you tell us about this knight of pentacles this is the knight of pentacles is somebody who's reliable they're patient they're hard working um, you're just hardworking, you're patient, growing what it is that you're growing. So it looks like you've been able to heal from this for the most part. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, you are balanced, you are working on your your abundance, you, you're you going to go after what you find passion in, what you find a lot of joy in. You're going after it, you're not letting anything stop you. You are, you, yeah, you are cutting out, you are cutting out anything that doesn't serve you. And that's going to bring you the will of fortune because you're trusting your intuition. You're moving away from the secrets that people have um, been trying to hide when they try to s sabotage your work. Yeah, people are trying to stop your work, your forward movement. They don't want to see you... Um, do this so they're, that's why they're 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 trying to trigger you they're trying to they'll probably say things do things to try and make you um feel like they're trying to put you in this energy again that's what this person is doing and that's that's what you're dealing with this week and that's why spirit's saying learn all you can about a subject go back to school you know find a mentor skilled work that you love you you know spirits encouraging you to keep going don't allow these people to try and stop you okay so that's how you're going to react let's look at the seven of pentacles what are you yeah <laughs> these people are trying to stop your work man these people oh, sorry i can't even grab this card these people are trying to kill your work they don't want to see you um succeed they don't want to see you succeed they're trying to um, keep you stuck. They're trying to kill your work. So keep working on what you're doing. You know, spirits, spirit has your back. So don't even trip about that. Okay. All right, guys. What is your advice? We got the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. This talks about uh, walking away from this this um, feeling of vulnerability. Okay, walking away from this. Spirit saying to block communication from the people that try to try to um, um, try to stop you. Block block them out. That's what it's spirit saying. Walk away from them. Block them out. Trust your intuition. You know that you have a uh, good fortune coming to you because everything that you've been working on is guided by the divine. Okay. yeah yeah you're very loving you um i i'm seeing like partnership this this um will of fortune it's gonna bring you a partnership that's gonna help you grow this but you need to walk away from from um the seeds that people try to plant in your mind like like they did in in, in your childhood and that's why it's so triggering because this is like test time have you learned how to deal with this this is how you're going to react 
Have you learned how to deal with these kinds of triggers? And it looks like you will because, you know, it's saying you're going to focus on you. You're going to walk away from this idea that, no, I can't do this. I'm not strong enough. I'm, I, I'm not capable enough. So Spirit's saying block them. Trust your intuition that the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor. We're going to send you in a partner that's going to, you know, help you. Okay? All right, guys. What can you tell us? Yeah, Spirit's saying justice is going to come in. That, oh my God, that abundance is going to come in, yo. Yeah, nothing's going to stop this. They can try, but it really comes down to you. You can't control what other people do. You can't control what other people say. You can't control that. All you can do is block them out and keep working on what you're working on. That's all you can do. And justice will come in and bring you all this stability that you've been working for towards it was something that you you took your time it took it was it took time to grow that one little pinnacle into all that abundance this is abundance this is financial freedom financial security financial stability you're gonna be good and that's justice for you but you need to walk away from it block them out walk away that's what it says all right guys let's see Final message, Emperor. We got the Emperor. We have the Moon in Reverse and the King of Cups. So this this person, this Emperor, I, okay, this person is kind of overseeing this situation. They were in the dark about how manipulative this other person was. This person that's trying to trigger you. There, this this person wasn't didn't have the clarity. But with the moon in reverse, the moon in reverse talks about illumination of secrets. Secrets of this person who is really manipulative, emotionally abusive. Okay? So what can you tell us about this emperor? What can you tell us about this emperor, spirit? What can you tell us about this emperor? What can you tell us about this emperor? Oh. this is the person that's coming in remember these two came out over here so this emperor could be this partner that is offering this um you um a gift they could be coming in with a gift. Oh, it could be work, a, an offer. You could be, I don't want, don't know why that stood out to me. It's like this person's older, somebody who's younger, but very, very loving, very um, um, nurturing. This person, the lovers doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could just be a, a, a very loving partnership. Like we can, we can do a lot of good work because cups are cups are all about um, emotion. And we've got the three of pentacles. So they could be offering you a gift, an, a proposal to work with them. Because they see that you are very loving. They see that you did have to stand your ground. Once they get the clarity on this person who's been very manipulative. Okay? This is final advice. So let's see what this moon is. What, is, what are these um, hidden secrets that are being illuminated? Truth about a devil truth about a devil what are this <laughs> and this devil could be this manipulative person this person try to keep uh this this emperor blinded a uh, confused this person was trying to c create confusion about you what else can you tell us about the moon This person is, hold on, the moon, oh, okay, sorry guys, let's, I'm going to fresh leave those up, okay, so I'm asking about the moon, okay, so the moon talks, of, or the, the four swords talks about somebody who's ready to act, see, when, when it's upright, he's, he's resting, 
right? So done, done with, you know, the timeout. I'm ready to act because I got the clarity, right? What's this clarity about? What's this? Secrets. They're, get, they're getting clarity about the secrets that were hidden. What else can you tell us about the moon? What are they getting clarity about? What are they getting clarity about? That Okay, so they're getting clarity that they want to take action. They want to take a chance. And they're going to communicate. Because they might cut out this devil. Because the truth finally came in. The truth came in about this manipulative person. What can you tell us about this King of Cups? What can you tell us about this King of Cups? What can you tell us about this King of Cups? What can you tell us about this King of Cups, Spirit? Tell us about this King of Cups, please. This person is trying to end your, um, like, this new offer, this Ace of Cups. Again, this, <laughs> this is like your, your test. This is like a karmic test, if you will, where you, have you learned your lessons? And it's like this, the divine has sent this person to be nasty and manipulative because the divine is testing you. How are you going to react, right? This person wants to keep you in this state of depression and sadness. They want to end your, what you find joy in. This person is trying to create confusion. This person was trying to, was being manipulative and sneaky, trying to cause conflict. But this person is going to get cut out. The truth is going to be spoken about this King of Cups. This manipulative person. Okay. So let's see. Final, final message for group one, please. So we got the five of wands, the nine of swords, and the four of swords. These challenges that have been stressing you out, Spirit's saying, rest easy, rest easy. These, these challenges, because it has to do with work. You're going to have a new beginning. Oh, I don't know if I can't see these. Okay, so these challenges that have been stressing you out, Spirit's telling you, don't rest easy. When it comes to your work, you will have a new beginning that will bring you abundance and will bring you emotional fulfillment, okay? So don't allow this person who's lying on you, who's trying to manipulate other people, trying to convince them, convince them, um, and even trying to convince you that, that you're, you're, you know, you're not able to do what it is that you love so spirit saying don't worry about it learn all you can about this subject or career go back to school if you have to take a seminar find a mentor pay attention to detail skilled work that you love do what you love don't allow people to try and tell you that you can't do this because that's what that's what happened to you in the past as a child that's what they that's what your family your parents I, I'm taking that as like a father figure um, somebody of authority try to make you believe that you know any chance you take is gonna leave you in this state so of lack and worry and you know isolation and they could have iso they could have abandoned you be, you know and so you have someone over here doing the same thing, trying to trigger your old. This person probably knows, is very intuitive. The King of Cups is usually very intuitive. When he's in reverse, this is somebody who's intuitive but uses it for all the wrong reasons. Instead of trying to lift people, uplift people, they tear them down like, oh, you know, that idea is stupid. You're not, you're not qualified to do this. 
you know, you know, th that's the kind of shit that they try to put in your head. So spirit's saying, don't even listen to them. Just walk away. Remember over here, it said, walk away, walk away, block these people. And you just continue to work on what it is that you're doing and good things are going to come guys. All right. So don't allow these people to trigger you into old ways of, of, of coping. Okay. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful and we'll see you guys next time. All right, group number two, if you chose the Deviant Moon Tarot, this is your tarot rehab reading, all right? So we're going to jump right into this. So the general message that Spirit has for you is the Renewal card, okay? The Renewal card says, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness, time to head in a new direction, clarity on your life's purpose in your, in your heart, you know what to do, okay? So that's the message that spirit has for you. All right. So let's see what is triggering you this week. We have the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands talks about stress and exhaustion burdens. You're just burdened. You're feeling stressed. You that's, what's going to trigger you, right? How is this trigger connected to your past? Okay. To past traumas. We have the Six of Cups, the Hierophant, and the, the um, Three of Cups. Now, this could be like, just like nostalgia for the tradition. This is how things have always been. This is how things have always been done. This is just how things are, right? Um... And you're finding it hard to move away from that way of thinking. You're still holding on to this from the past. It's almost like mm, you could have had like with this card, the renewal, where it says clarity on your life's purpose. It could have been like you had clarity on what you wanted to do, but you're, it, it could have been like maybe strange or unconventional and, and or, you know, that's not something that, you know, our family does. You're expected to be a, you know, a lawyer, a doctor, a, you know, a businessman, something like that. And, but you're like, I just, I wanted to paint, you know, I wanted to write, you know, children's books or something like that, you know, something that just called to you, your life's purpose. Um, and people are like, no, you're, you know, that's not what we do here. That's not our tradition. This is your circle of your group of your, you know, your, your community is very traditional and you know, that's just how things have always been. Okay. So how will you react? We got the seven of swords the five of pentacles and the nine of swords. This is not good energy right here. This is how you're going to react. It's like you're, you, you're going to. This is like dishonesty and strategy. And then we got the five of pentacles, you know, worry and stress. You you know, you could have been very, you could have done something very strategic and manipulative and dishonest. And now you're, you know, this is how you, I don't, I don't, I'm saying this is how you will react. Um, how will you most likely react to this trigger? I think this is already passed. I don't know why I got this, that we're going to clarify though. Okay. So this is like being strategic and dishonest. And now like you're in this state of worry and, and having some anxiety, sleepless nights, because maybe you, you might know that the truth is about to come out about what you did because you were so triggered by, you know, the past reviewing the past with compassion you might need to forgive the people that told you you know what you wanted to do for your life's purpose wasn't acceptable okay all right so advice is the strength and the eight of pentacles it's like the eight of pentacles talks about mastering your craft focus on mastering your craft Needing some self-love, having self-love, your advice, have some self-love, 
and and master your craft whatever it is that in the past that you wanted to do maybe focus on that that's that's the advice so final message we have the four of swords and the nine of wands this is kind of a tough energy it could be like you might be put kind of like put down for a minute which will cause some depression and this could be because of the way that you reacted guys so be very mindful of this okay so let's start breaking this down we got the ten of wands this is exhaustion burdens let's see what this is what's the ten of wands please Three of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Three of Wands talks about um, teamwork. And, okay. Okay. Okay, so the burdens, expansion. It could be expanding, expansion. So your trigger is like, you're stressed about this expansion. This is somebody, the Knight of Wands is somebody who's free-spirited. They they just go after their passions, you know. They, they don't let nothing stop them from going after what they're passionate about. And you could probably see that coming. And that causes you a lot of stress and burdens because you're like, that's not how things are done. This person is very free spirited. This is somebody who, who marches to the beat of their own drum. They don't allow other people to tell them, no, you can't, you can't do that. And this is a person who's like, you know, I don't like that. I don't like that this person is, you know, doing whatever they want to do. And that's what's triggering you. That's what's triggering you. Okay, so let's see, how is it connected to the past? You know, this is your own tradition. This is your community telling you, this is how things have always been done. That's that's what we're gonna do. So let's see. Okay, tell us about this. Yeah, my commu your community tells you, no, this is how things are done. This is the tradition. Your community is telling you that, right? So you got to put on this show that keeps you feeling trapped when you re keeping you trapped from finding your own fulfillment. Because it's the there it's a secret that you want to feel free. You want to march to the beat of your own drum. And here this person, you know, it's coming out, but this this time this is you. You're like over here like I don't like that this person is doing it, but the truth is you want to do that. You want to be like that. You want to you wanna kind of like step against, go against the traditional, because of Hierophant, twice. You want to go against that tradition, but, you know, it's so ingrained in you from your community, your family. This is how it's supposed to be, that you allowed that to be what it is. So now that when someone else comes and tries to be everything that you wish you could be, you get angry and you try to manipulate and be dishonest and now you're worried about this because this is how will you react you reacted this way by being dishonest let's see what that seven of swords is let's see what the seven of swords is what can you tell us about the seven of swords today we look for tomorrow toward a different path sorry guys What can you tell us about the Seven of Swords? Oh, Hold on, guys. Let me put this back on. What's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords? What are they? What was this person? What were you, you or this person being dishonest about? We got the. Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords first. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is somebody who's who's very confident. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so you were dishonest. This person was very confident. <clears throat> and you were dishonest. You were like trying to put, come, almost like put them down. I always see the four swords as, you know, getting put down. You're not, you, you know. And because, again, remember I said this is very, very kar uh, karmic. Because the final message is the four of swords. It's like you were being dishonest. You were trying to put somebody who was very confident in whatever that they wanted to do. Uh, the person that you didn't like that was very free spirited. You were very dishonest and you're trying to put them out, take them out, right? And now you're in this state of, oh shit, um, I'm worried because I'm going to get found out. And that's down here with the final message. It's like you're getting put, put down. But in this card, it's like, this guy, this guy is, he's, it's, he's, he's put down, yeah, but he's on his bed. He's on his bed. Here, this person's getting put down, but they're in the ground. It's like, they're, it's almost like you bury yourself because of your dishonesty. All because this person was very confident and you didn't like that. What can you tell us about the Five of Pentacles? What is this worry? Yeah, you're worried that something's going to come to an end. It's like you know that it might come. The death and something's coming to an end. What's the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, you were trying to create burdens for someone. You were trying to keep somebody stuck. You you know, keep, keep them wondering, juggling. Try because remember this person was very confident and you're trying to get them to doubt their own confidence. You were trying to end that for them. You were you you were trying to create confusion. You were trying to create confusion. That's what that ten of pentacles is. It's or the five of pentacles is it's um work. Let's see what that nine of swords is. Let's see what that is. This is anxiety. Up oh, sleepless nights. And it could be because you're worried about this dishonesty that you, and this is how, how would you react? How will you react? How would you react? It's like, you're worried that, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. You know, this person's trying to sneak away and there's an eye right here. Just looking, even though you, it's like this person was watching you be dishonest, watching you. This person saw everything that you did, even though you were trying to do it sneakily, quietly, trying not to get caught. And now you might be worried because you're like, oh shit, I am I'm going to get caught. Let's see what that nine of swords is. Why are you worried? Why are you worried? What's that nine of swords, please, spirit? It's a nine of swords. Yeah, <laughs> nine of swords with nine of swords. You are worried. Yes, you are. And it's going to be very disappointing for you. This is a lot of depression energy right here. This is a lot of depression right here, right here, right here, right here. It's all very, um, um, yeah, this is mental torment, mental torment. You're very worried. You're going to, you know, you're going to be disappointed when, when the truth comes out about, about what you did, because this is how you would react. So let's see what your advice is. Your advice is um, have self-love, master your own craft, and don't worry about other people. Don't worry about what other people be doing. You just learn on, work on loving yourself and working on mastering your own craft and not worry about what someone else is doing, even if it's unconventional. Just because you want to do things the way things have always been done, that doesn't mean everybody else does. You need to focus on yourself, on your own self-love, on your on on strengthening your own uh, craft. What's the strength in the Eight of Pentacles? What's the strength? Let's start with the strength. Give me one for the strength, please. Thank you. Yeah, self-love, self-love. Grow, work on yourself, grow your own self, 
you know, your own. Mm. Hold on, let's get one more. Okay, so the strength talks. Hold on, let me just double check. Okay, so the strength talks about self-love, self-respect, courage, that um, to have patience, have patience with yourself. This is your advice, have patience with yourself. And then we got... Oh, solo pleasure, solo pleasure. Yes, this is why it says clarity on your life's purpose because it's like self-love. Learn to, to uh, love yourself and go after what it is, mastering your craft. Whatever it was that these people told you, no, you can't do that. That's not how we do things. Our family doesn't do that. Our religion doesn't allow that. You know, our institutions don't, you know, they don't function that way. Stop break from that that is your lesson that's what spirit's saying here for you your advice love yourself so much that you're going to go after what it is that you you want to work on with the eight of pentacles you will have success in this solo pleasure whatever it is that you want to do because you're going to get the clarity on what it is you know in your heart what to do that's what spirit's saying so stop focusing on what other people are doing and focus on what you, what your soul calls to and stop trying to be uh, dishonest and manipulative. Okay, let's get the final message. Final message is the four swords and the nine of wands. What's the four swords spirit? What's the four swords? Oh man. Yeah, you're, a, you're, <laughs> damn. Because of this, this is karmic. This is karmic. Um, it's it's like, and this isn't a tit for tat type of thing. It's like you do stuff. It karma is like when you do something, and it could be good or bad. You put out good, good in the world. You're gonna get good karma back. You put out bad. You're gonna get bad karma back, right? Um, so because of what you've done. Uh, you were trying to put someone in the ground, remember? But all you were able to do was take them out, take them out of commission for a little bit. It's like, you know, they had to go and take a nap. They were out of the picture. But here, because of because it was done in a malicious way, spirits like you're the one who's going to get buried. Your abundance is going to is going to be taken away because of because of what you did. And now. It's gonna be it's gonna bring a lot of stress. Oh my god, I did it again. Flip my cards again. Sorry guys, I gotta fix that. Okay. So that's the four of swords. Like your abundance, your stability is going to be taken out, buried, dead. And that's gonna bring you a lot of grief, a lot of anxiety. Again, a lot of a lot of that mental torment. What is that nine of wands, spirit? What is that nine of wands, please? What is that nine of wands, please? What is that nine of wands, please? Nine of wands, please. <clears throat> Yeah, somebody's going to come in and speak the truth. They're going to bring clarity to the situation of what was done. And that's why you're going to be in the state of, you know. Because you were very persistent in doing this. And you're like, I shouldn't have done that. What can you tell us about the Ninth One Spirit? Because you were, okay, so you were trying to, because this is greed. 
Four of Pentacles is greed, holding on to, you know, this is very, somebody who's very egotistical, somebody who can't let something go. They should have just let go. They should have just let go, be free. They should have just let go and be free, but no, they wanted to be, you, they want, you know, their ego was too great, and now they're in this state. Jeez. That's why Spirit's saying, even though this might happen, right here, um, even though that might happen, Spirit's advice for you is still to, you know, have some self-control, have some self-love, and focus on what it is that you find passionate about. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Forgiving the people who try to block you. It's time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life's purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. Let's get final cards for you before I let you go. Yeah, um, I'm thinking of, of the family. It could have been a family, your circle, your family. To have that will of fortune for you to get out of this energy, you have to work on this. You have to forgive the past and move forward and you'll be able to manifest, but you need to walk away. You need to walk away from this past, but not in an angry way, but for understanding it is, it was here to teach you a lesson, to not compromise who you are for other people. Okay. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave that there. I hope this helped, and we will see you guys next week for your tarot rehab. Also, guys, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. You can also follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I will put all that information down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.